Alex Pereira won the light heavyweight title to become just the ninth ever two division champion in UFC history. And it was all because of one man and one interview. My name is Bryce Wilson and I'm a mental performance coach. I watched all of Alex's post-match interviews and here's the real reason he became a double division champion. At the end of the day, no one knows who the f he is and he's gonna be that guy when I'm world champion, when I'm a legend. He's gonna be at some pub talking some shit about I beat that guy one time. Let me give you a quick backstory. Alex Pereira beat Israel Adesanya twice in kickboxing and even knocked him out cold, which remains the only time Adesanya has been knocked out. However, Adesanya moved on from kickboxing and entered the UFC, where he soon became a world champion, celebrity, and rich. Meanwhile, Alex Pereira was still fighting as a kickboxer, and despite being a kickboxing champion, he remained unknown and lived the broke lifestyle of a struggling fighter. But guess what? Right at this time, Alex heard this interview. He in a video said that I would be in a bar, but he me rescued me. Esse cara também falou recente que vai voltar só em 2027. Turns out, at the time, he was just a guy in a bar, drinking his problems away and being jealous of Izzy's success. But ever since he heard that interview, that motivated him to leave the bar and set new and bigger goals like taking over the UFC. And more specifically, beating Adesanya in the UFC to finally get the income and recognition he deserved. And with this one comment to fuel him, it came true. Já tava escrito. Eu sabia que eu ia ser campeão. Why did this work? Why was this one comment enough to change his life and change the entire UFC? It's because it engaged a powerful element called regret. Regret does three things. The first thing is that it forces you to think long term. What Adesanya was taunting Alex with was the idea that he could retire, get old, and forever wonder what could have been. He had the talent to be on Adesanya's level since he'd beaten him already, but if he never pushed himself to achieve more, he'd always wonder what if. And this singular thought of being old and on his deathbed, regretting what he didn't do, was enough to get him back in the gym with a vengeance and try the UFC. The second thing is that it forces you to be present and take action. Regret is one of the most long-lasting negative feelings. You could do something today that you'd regret for the rest of your life, or you could not do something today that you'd regret for the rest of your life. Alex knew if in that moment when he heard the interview, if he didn't push himself to his max and at least try to make it in the UFC, he would regret it for the rest of his life. E aí eu, algumas coisas ali me atrapalhou, eu falei, cara, eu tenho que parar de beber agora, se eu não parar, eu, boa, não vou ser ninguém. And that pushed him to give his best in training in every match after that. Last is that regret eliminates fear. The thought of regret is far more terrifying than the thought of trying and failing because the feeling of regret will last far longer than the feeling of failure. That's why I live by this quote, fear regret, not failure. If Alex tried his best and failed in the UFC, it would be temporarily disappointing, but he wouldn't have to live with the long-term regret of never trying. A great practical exercise for this is to ask yourself, at the end of my career or life, will I regret what I did or didn't do in this moment? You will never feel this level of happiness if you don't go for something, when they knock you down. If you stay down, you will never ever get that resolve. Ironically, regret is what also led Adesanya to eventually come back and beat Pereira. After losing to Pereira for the third time in the UFC, Adesanya could have given up and said it was a lost cause. But even though a rematch against Pereira was risky because if he lost again, he would forever have that stain on his legacy, he also knew that if he didn't try once more to beat his biggest rival, he would forever regret it and would fear Alex Pereira for the rest of his life. This thought of regret was powerful enough to fuel him to take this massive risk, and when it paid off, it was pure joy because he'd conquered his fears. Now back to Alex. Although he was trash talking Adesanya, I honestly think he was doing it from a place of love because he sees that Adesanya is now in a place where he once was since Adesanya lost to Sean Strickland, losing his belt and even his passion for fighting in one swoop. So I think Alex was hoping to motivate Adesanya to get back into fighting just like Adesanya had once motivated Alex to. <laughs> Now, will Adesanya use the power of regret to try to conquer his fears once again? The difficult part about this is that overcoming fears and taking risks never gets easier. It'll always be difficult, but once you conquer a fear, you'll understand the benefit of taking risks, and that will at least give you peace of mind to go into the next risk. In Adesanya's current situation, on one hand, he could regret taking the fight, because if he loses, he would tarnish his legacy and finish his career knowing that there's a man that's better than him. But I still think that he'd be satisfied that he tried. On the other hand, he could regret not taking the fight, because he and every other fan would always wonder what if he beat Alex again and destroyed all doubt, which could solidify his legacy as a GOAT and conquer the fears and losses he had. And here's Pereira's opponent, Jiri's reaction to losing. I'll be back. 
stronger than ever. This is another way to respond to failure. Use failure as fuel, but this also uses an element of regret. Because if Jiri didn't try for the rematch, he would always wonder if he could beat Alex. So the combination of fear and regret is what's fueling him to make his comeback. And apparently he was already back in the gym just days after his fight, which shows just how powerful the tools of failure and regret are. But that's why I think Alex beat Adesanya and Jiri to become a double champ. Why do you think so?